Let's do my skincare while I tell you how this happened. In 2019, I was 25 years old and I was about to be 26. My son was six months old and in the US when, if you have the privilege of having parents who have health insurance, who you are also under that health insurance policy, when you turn 26, you get kicked off. And so I was about to be 26 and I was seeing my OB for a six month postpartum check. And I had asked her if there was anything in my medical charts that she saw that would be concerning. There's a lot of breast cancer in my family history. Like, can we go more into detail of that? And I was telling her how on my dad's side, it's my grandma, my three aunts, and then like the other women in my dad's family tree, family history, lots of breast cancer. So she was like, well, I think you might be a good candidate for the BRCA genetic testing. I'm like, oh, what, what is that? So she was explaining how it's like a genetic marker that you can know if you're at higher risk of certain breast cancer or of certain cancers. And mine was going to be breast cancer. I had no idea that that even existed. So I was like, yeah, let's do that. And <laughs> I don't think I actually saw like how much was going to go into that, how much that could affect me, the results. So I got tested for that and then they told me to wait a couple weeks and I'd get my results back. So they called me and they were like, yeah, you you should come into the office. We you have your results. Me and my OB in the room and she, she was like, okay, it came back to where you are BRCA1 positive. So your percentage for breast cancer is 80 something in your lifetime. And by the time you're 50, or yeah, 50 is like 50%, above 70 is the full like 80 something percent chance. And then ovarian, it's 40 to 60%. And pancreatic is an elevated risk. What are my options? Because I don't have cancer, I have alopecia, we've talked about this before. It's like, well, you could get a mastectomy with reconstruction, but with that comes multiple surgeries, things could go wrong, you could get six month ultrasounds like on like my uterus, ovaries, and then on my breasts to maybe catch something before it got big. So every six months I'd do that for the rest of ever. Or I could just go flat, have a mastectomy, do nothing, and that would bring my percentage to like single digits of getting breast cancer. So that's what I decided to do. So that's why I look like this. 